I'm Charles Tauber. Welcome to my shop. I started making guitars in 1977 under the tutelage of Charles Fox and George Morris. These days, most of what I make are steel string acoustic guitars and classical guitars. However, along the way, I've made dulcimers, arch top guitars, lutes, and a variety of other stringed instruments. There are a few tasks in guitar making that are more daunting to the novice guitar maker than how to attach a neck to a guitar box. It can be distressing knowing that if the neck is not attached just right to the body, that it can compromise both the playability as well as the aesthetics of the instrument. While there are a variety of methods of attaching guitar necks to their bodies, in this video I'll be showing you how I make a traditional dovetail joint. I'll be showing several variations including a traditional dovetail joint, a simplified dovetail joint, and a method that I learned from Grit Laskin about four decades ago that involves using no glue in the joint itself, but instead uses a single wood screw. One traditional way of attaching a neck to a guitar body is to use a dovetail joint. The joint itself consists of two parts. One of them is the negative recess that's cut into the body, and the other is the positive protrusion that extends from the neck portion. The two of those slide together, one into the other, and one slid in provide an interlocking mechanical joint. The joint cannot be removed by lifting, or by twisting, or by moving side to side. The joint can only come apart in the direction of sliding it in the way in which it was put together. The integrity of the joint relies upon the ability to not slide the two halves of the joint apart. That can be accomplished either by gluing the joint to prevent it from sliding apart, or possibly by using a pin and the pin prevents the two parts from sliding one relative to the other. A practical approach to using a pin is to use a wood screw. The wood screw can then be threaded in and out of the hole to remove the screw and allow you to disassemble the neck. That can be particularly helpful when it's time to do a neck reset. That you do not need to steam the neck joint apart, you only need to remove the wood screw that holds the, the joint from sliding apart. 